the sheer quantity of props in terms of letters, photos, pictures, sounds, smells, puppets, stunts, all of that made the scenario, the whole uh, event, incredibly real. Um, things like pictures of past family members looking like current ones, a uh, high number of really very tangible props really added to the solving the mystery element of the game. By having so many documents, pictures and objects to fall back on, it was always possible to recheck the facts of the story. It's also worth pointing out that a lot of this stuff didn't get revealed immediately. It wasn't obvious because we started the game with the, with a power cut. And that was really good because it enabled us to get into character and not immediately focus on all these objects and documents and so on because they just we couldn't see them. The house was dark. So it was a very effective way of starting the game. Really, really smart uh, design decision. Oh, the event packs deserve special mention. Uh, just for the sheer volume and the consistency. Um, and the books. One of the characters um, was a, a writer of adventure novels. And there were penguin books. You know, there were the ones with the, the orange covers, which had his name on them. Um, and they were utterly convincing. But I'm, I'm going to show... They did one for me as well, because I was supposed to be an author. Um, here we are. Oh, it's reversed. Oh, God knows what, you know, iPad. But it, all right, I just have to tell you, it's got on the spine, it's Royal Gardens by Gloria Northmore, my character. Um, another thing that made things consistent was this little stamp this um, that uh, appeared on all the in-character items. So that, and it was such a low impact, low cognition way of just going, you know, it'll check. Yes, that's there. That is in character. You can rely on it. It doesn't even go into long-term memory. It's just a little bit of a blip. The the amount of props, just down to photographs, um, and then all the other props, the little clues that got left around, such as the two soldiers and the um, green lady on top of the tree, all of that, the tiny little clues, the books that were lying around, the letters, it was all amazing. Um, I'm going to talk about just the things that were in the room of Nicholas, the the bad guy, um, uncle, masquerading as Uncle Godfrey. Um, and that was... <sighs> ranged from the smell... The, they use smells. Um, really unsettling smell. I, I think um, in debrief they told us it was it, it was old dentist smell. This nasty, stank smell of cloves. Um, the fantastic mechanical respirator that had been built. Um, and the sound that it made. Um, and then the makeup that uh, Uncle Godfrey Stroke Nicholas was w developed as, as he deteriorated, and the sheer volume and the verisimilitude of the medical props, the horror, the, the plastic cloths that were, were, were round, uh, you, know, you know, like the, the, the medical area, the, the dim lighting, um, and it all contributed to to take the, the reality, the, the verisimilitude of, of that, that room and all the occupants and what happened in it um, up, to an, up, up to a next level.